Welcome, planet, to Orlando Altamont Springs, Central Florida. It's really hot today. I was on the courts again today. It was about 105 on the courts today. A lot of water. My little box of raisins for sugar. Absolutely. C and C. I close my eyes and see the ball because I'm not going to try and stare at the ball if I was a golfer, which is sitting on the ground and not moving. So I'm not going to be able to see a tennis ball coming at me at a high rate of speed or a hockey puck or a volleyball or a baseball and see even though I can't see, but I'm trying to see, sense, sense, a sense of, and releasing myself so the ball doesn't get too tight, so I'm not crampy, crampy, crampy. See and see. My eyes are open now. Roger Federer, who won his first round match today, pretty easy. I think it was 756362 or 756263. Whatever it was, it was pretty easy. Now, Roger, what would possibly, possibly be his thinking? Let's see. Raphael is not in the tournament. So, hey, it seems like I have a better chance, but wait a minute, I better be careful because I can't take anything for, anything for granted because guess what? Ooh, everybody else, at least 10 others can do it. If I go down and they go up, if I go down on my talent and they go up on theirs, gotta be careful, gotta be careful. I have no favors. I'd like to see a Brit. Since 1936, no British male has won the Wimbledon Championship. Fred Perry, who won the Grand Slam at that time. And then in 62 and 69, Rod Laver, but no British man has won. Rod Labor cars is an Aussie. But Andy Murray, who is what, the third seed? Ooh, Andy, can you put it together and everybody be so happy in England? My gosh, they'll be, you'll just be a hero and they'll carry you around on their shoulders and buy you beer at the pubs and everybody be so happy for you. In the women's draw, there's no English ladies. Oh, not since Virginia Wade, 1977. Oh, well. Movies. I got a good thriller. And it's a foreign one. It's from Belgium, but it's excellent. And it beats all the American thrillers who are just stuck on crud. Special effects and, and explosions and cars ripping and tearing and just uh, overkilling and everything. No, no. It's called The Memory of a Killer 2003 from Belgium. Don't despair. The subtitles are in bright yellow. And we still haven't learned. I'm going to mention once. I'll mention a hundred times about stop ripping off Hollywood. Old films. The taking of the pedlum. One, two, three is crud. In my humble opinion. And I'm entitled to my humble opinion because it is humble. The director Ridley Scott says it's not a it's a it's a, an enhancement. It's a reinvention. No, it's a ripoff. A ripoff. If you see the nineteen seventy four one with Walter Matthau and the great Robert Shaw, it's called acting, not just shooting and killing and maiming and yelling and screaming and carrying on. Okay, how about that? Other things today. Rock and roll coaching, you rockers out there. I was in Hollywood for over 25 years and immersed in the rock and roll business and management and agency work and club work and a lot of rock and roll bands that I come with and through and knew many, many, many of them. Do not scream and yell and just 
scream and yell when you sing learn how to sing it comes from the whole frame not screeching from the throat number one number two have everyone try to contribute to the lyrics write something everybody should be involved that's why there was a lot of resentment with the Beatles with Lennon and McCarthy Ringo Starr didn't care really that much but George Harrison did everybody it's a team I coach rock and roll bands as a team learn how to write learn how to sing look at great bands like the band like the Beatles like the Rolling Stones like Jethro Tull like Led Zeppelin like Pink Floyd learn you can upload download on YouTube a lot of the songs and the videos from these bands use it as your visual aid well that's it for today Take care of yourselves, take care of someone else, adopt a kitty, and don't feed them canned food. Little pieces of kibble. That's it. Bye-bye.